I uh, finished this one a couple of days ago and tentatively thinking of calling it Love Poem. If I ever have a kid, I'm gonna play Lego with it. Like, call in sick to bust out the brick. Sorry boss, throat hurts, can barely make words. Right son, let's get to work. Cause I believe in the verb to do. More than the verb to have, and as it stands, I believe in hands. Learning through self-discovery, turning through trial and error drudgery, into uh, uh, collections of compiled codes of clever, constructed muscle memory. My Lego was not a toy, so much as a tangible technicolor manifestation of developing developmental mental connections. It's a gymnasium for young brains. Imagination stands naked on the stage with all the potential of the empty page. No taxation on this, uh, on this state of mind, it's a space and time where we build our foundations by laying foundations of castles and space stations. And if I have a kid, I will pass my collection down like my genetics. Start with the simpler parts, then move on to the harder, and then as fingers limber, move on to the harder pieces. From my grandfather to my father, three generations of stokes and sizes are imprinted on those blocks. I cut my teeth array in bricks, not playing shit on an Xbox. And it may seem strange for the comparatively baby face to be harping back to the good old days, but on this, I feel my generation was the last to the train as it left the station. The past 20 years could be the greatest period of innovation in history. And we're all really well rehearsed in words like individuality and creativity, to the point where it's beginning to feel prescriptive. All the faces on TV have perfect teeth, but I can smell the stagnation on these streets and through gleaming shop fronts you can see today's Lego kits made out of specific tailored pre-fit bits reflecting latest blockbuster hits. Identical box sets of The Hobbit and Star Wars, parents and shopping malls taken down from the shelves of their kids, just another brick from the wall. Yeah. Yeah. We, we, we have mastered the instantaneous destination. It's 2013, 14. It's 2014. It's 2014. Journeys seem to be out of vogue. Do you remember those really awkward triangular blocks that were a nightmare to fit into a row? And for a six-year-old kid made Lego the equivalent of the Da Vinci Code. <laughs> well, I would, take, I would take all of your smartphones, melt them down and recast them into those. There, will, there can be no application to replace an imagination. We are lost in protracted masturbation over instantaneous gratification. We are the spoilt children of history and I fear we're beginning to love it. I believe that there could be clues to the cure in braille written in blisters on fingers. And if I have a kid, I will pass down my Lego kit and say this is where it begins. Best get quick at putting together those blocks because at the end of the day, we're both building something to be proud of.